Okay. So it's bound with the jumper. Pick the thing up and throttle up a bit. So the blue one's most unhappy. Okay, so I'll have a look at that prop first to see what's going on. So, power down, unplug the battery. So the one in the front's the most troublesome. So, so this, is, this is the tool that came with the Hubson X4 107L. Um, but you can probably make something similar. But they say just pull it off with your hand, but really you need something like this to do it. comes off. Right. So I'm looking at this case, it's not very obvious, but there's a little bit of muck on the prop. A little bit of hair or something that's got caught up in it. Okay, well that seems to be clean enough. So Let's turn that on. Yep, that one's got all sorts of rubbish wrapped around the uh, propeller shaft. So it's caught up a bit of fluff from somewhere. So it's all come off. In fact, you can see where it's scored a bit on the inside of the uh, of the prop guard of the duct. That's cleaned it. Put that one back on. As long as it's tight. Actually, it doesn't need to be too far down. If maybe that's why it was rubbing on the duck, I might have done it too thoroughly. So let's look at the next one. Again, the same kind of problem. So if you're working in a dusty environment or like us, you've got a long-haired cat around the place, um, this can cause all sorts of problems. So I'm down to the last one now. Once again, there's quite a bit of muck on the prop. On the prop shaft, rather. So this is sort of rubbish that's come off the, uh, the thing today. Okay, jump it back on, bound, <laughs> so here's the fleet of three. Um, something I've learned is to retain the, the little bit that the Lego man used to sit on. You can see it more clearly here. Because if you cut the back off so you can get at the circuit board where you need to solder uh, wires on for the, for the camera, and then you can put it back on and use that to stick it on. You can see with this one I 
It's my first attempt to figure out where to make the hole for the antenna to come through, and it was a pretty rough job. Uh, but I applied to this one here, which I've got the TX03 on. Uh, this is the faulty one that's overheating, and I'm waiting for the next one, next one to come from Banggood. So I've got it through a neat hole, and I've used double-sided tape to attach the camera, and that seems to work quite well. I've just got a bit of a foam block looking from this side to um, cut at an angle to give me the kind of angle I want for the thing and then the double sided uh, sponge tape to hold it in place and that seems to do a pretty good job um, if it gets knocked off from that it's, it's ideal because it's less likely to do any damage and I'm glad I bought one of these uh, Santa Whoops, there's two Santa Whoops actually because the price has shot back up again here in Australia they're going to cost you around 25 30 bucks so I'm glad I got in while the going was good and uh, I'm still learning more about them I may even have a different camera to show you as well as the TXO3 uh, just looking at some options there